should really dress like a girl. How dare you? Oh, gun girl getting bullied. I saw this. Oh my gosh, why is he honking? Why does he keep punching him like that? I feel so bad for her. Here's a great Jack Cole. He was angry that I reclined my seat and punched about nine times hard. At which point I began videoing him and he resigned to this behavior. The other Jack Cole is the American Air Flight attendant who reprimanded me and offered him rum. So you would expect this kind of behavior from a kid because they don't really know, but from an adult? Come on. That's so rude! There's definitely an e a better way to go about this, but like, I honestly think they're both to blame. Both of them, like, are both my pet peeves, like, on a flight. Like, I don't want someone to be reclining onto me, but I also wouldn't want someone to be rude and to be rude and rewarded for it. There are actually a lot of similar videos out there on the internet that make people wonder, what would you do in that situation? Mm. So today, we're going to be showing you a series of situations that, as a teen, maybe you'll find yourself in and ask you what you honestly think you would do, starting with this first one. Mm. So if someone reclined their chair in front of you on an airplane, what would you do? Chairs are meant to recline. It's not that big a deal. Even if it did annoy me, I'd ask him, hey, excuse me, can you move it? I have long legs, so I mean, it would probably like touch me. I'd be like, hey, do you think you can move it up? Because like, I'm not afraid to speak my mind. But like, I'm not going to be like, yo, miss, like, bah, bah. I'm very tiny. Therefore, for me personally, I probably wouldn't care that much. The internet has been taking sides on this one in particular, so if okay. you had to pick, who do you think was in the wrong? Here? Him! Him! For sure! Absolutely the guy who punched it. That's so awful. The guy's in the wrong hair, uh, clearly. What even is that? The guy that repeatedly punched the lady's chair was wrong. The lady was in the wrong. For sure, 100%. I think the lady, and she's publicly shaming him, that's the thing. I think the woman's in the fault then. With, like, having context, Maybe she's more in the wrong. Both people are in the wrong for sure. They're both in the wrong-ish. She should have been more respectful and like slightly moved it or something and he should have been more respectful. Respect is the key. There is songs about respect. No one f***ing likes you! Ah, oh, gun girl getting bullied. I saw this. I'm dead. See, this whole thing is stupid. All overall. She looks like she's not phased at all. Why? What is happening? I think it was last year, almost a year ago, she posted some graduation photos um, with her holding an AR-15 on campus, and that sparked a lot of controversy. Guns on a college campus, on a high school campus, any campus, I think is just a big no-no. That's the great part about America, you have your own opinion. So the fact that that's happening is just, she literally is just doing her job. If you were in the situation where maybe some people were ganging up on somebody at a school, whether you agree with the person's beliefs or not, how do you think you would handle maybe a situation like this? To be honest, I would wonder what's going on. For the most part, I think I'd stay out of it. If it's gun girl, I'm gonna join in. If it was somebody that I didn't know or haven't researched, I'm gonna just step away. If you feel really strongly about it, just talk about it. See their side of the story and hear why they think this way or and then they can hear your side of the story. Even if you don't come to a, like a agreement, you can still know why that person is feeling this way. A group that big, I know for a fact there's nothing I can do. So I have to be the respectful and bigger person and walk away. It's a red light. Why are you beeping at them? You're in the wrong lane. Like what are you Is you trying to get over? Stop! He made a mistake! This is dumb! You can wait a second! Chill! Literally, it just turned green. You could have waited like 20 more seconds. Oh my gosh, why is he honking? Just move your Prius out of the way. Oh, now he's just gonna sit there because he's honking. Oh, that is funny! Oh my gosh. That was pretty shady. Oh my god. If someone came up behind you and started honking at you like this, what do you think you would do? Um, I would just wait even longer. Just like how he did. I would just be like, okay, well, you want to keep honking at me. That's not like phasing me. I wouldn't get out the car, though. I definitely would have laid on the horn. Like, I, I hate using the horn, but 
in that situation, you have to use it. Who do you think was in the wrong here if you had a pick? Um, the beeper. He was just trying to move, even though letting other people go is like kind of petty. Like, it's a warranted response. He didn't need to honk at him like that, so I think it was the guy who honked that was in the wrong. The priest was in the wrong, for sure. I don't know why the person laying on the horn would be in the wrong. Mean honking man. He was honking at him. He was like, change your lane or go straight. He can't go straight because he has to make a left, not a right, stupid. The guy who reacted first with the obnoxious honking was like, dude, come on. So yeah, I definitely think that guy's in the wrong. The one honking was definitely in the wrong. Oh, the guy honking. Like, really honky. Like, I understand if it's like a beep. There's a limit. Where do we draw the line? Where are you from? Uh, from Florida. What about you? Baltimore. Baltimore? Yeah. Oh, I love this dude. He's so funny. <laughs> okay, that's what's up. Yeah. Well, check it out. I'm in a second chance job training program. Wait a minute. Sorry. Did you say Baltimore? Yeah. Like Maryland? Baltimore? Yeah. yeah. What's wrong, man? I, um, I've been to a lot of states. What's I've happening? I've been to Baltimore, man. <laughs> what's wrong, man? I've never been to Baltimore. Well, okay. Well, it's okay, man. So what? Well, check it out. Well, well. I've never been. But look, it's all good, bro. It's funny. He goes, I've been to so many states, but I haven't been to Baltimore. It's a city. How do you think you would respond if a stranger came up to you in public and just started crying on your shoulder? This! I'd be like, oh my god! I'd like try to comfort them, you know? But I'm like, it's okay! Baltimore's not that poppin'! I don't do well with affection. I would probably walk the other way. I would be scared if a young, if a guy, if a guy comes up to me and starts like touching me and crying on me. Obviously I'm gonna be weirded out. You gotta think about the situation. If it's a girl crying over her boyfriend, I'm gonna be like, girl, like leave him. <laughs> I'd be absolutely confused. I'd be like, um, are you okay, dude? If that were to really happen, I'd probably be like, oh like, let me like, you know, like comfort you. You know, like I get where like people would be uncomfortable cause like you don't know the person, but like, Maybe they're crying to you because they have no one else to cry to. For context, this next video is called Filming Strangers. Okay, did they get permission? Were their faces pixelated? Okay, we already got issues. Yes. <laughs> what do you need? Kinda of creepy. What? But I completely agree with this guy. That's super weird. What do you need? At that point, I would stop showing my face to the camera. That's so creepy. This is a social experiment, honestly. He's just trying to get a reaction out of you, buddy, and you're giving it to him. Hit his phone. Hit his phone. Hit his phone. I, I would 1,000% move. That's happened to me once, too. I think I was at Disneyland, and this girl was, like, like she was recording me, and I'm, like, I'm, like, trying to, like, turn my face. It's so uncomfortable. If he was filming a girl, everybody would be like, oh, my God, stop filming, like, young girls, blah, blah, blah. But since it's, like, a teenage boy, nobody seems to care, but it's still wrong. It's so wrong. If someone walked up to you and just started filming you in public, how do you think you would respond? Honestly, probably the same way he did. I'd probably get super annoyed, like, why? Like, what's your point? Probably the same way as him. That's really weird, especially because if you don't know who they are, they could be like stalking you. Because that's overall really freaky to to do. So if that happened, I'll just run to the bathroom. Because <laughs> they can't they can't do that, you know. I'll be like, well, why are you filming me? Please stop. Then I'll probably sue them because you can't do that. Uh <laughs> Technically, if you're in public, you can. Seriously? What are you doing? <laughs> You know, you should really dress like a girl. How My skin dare awesome. you! What are you? Excuse me. What are you doing? Oh, they're trying Stop to see like this. how people would react. Really? Yes. You're just messing around. No, you're not. Did your mother teach you that? Learn to treat everyone equally. Yes. We are all human beings. You, she, me, everyone. This woman is everything I believe in. I think it's so important, because I know those are staged, but like the stranger's reaction is like real. I think it's really important that we're like teaching kids that, especially like putting it up on a stage to see. Obviously like it's set up, but it's nice to see like humanity restored when it comes to like 
certain situation. I was bullied a lot when I was in middle school. It was rough. I mean, middle school kids are brutal, man. I would never go back to middle school. I definitely was happy that that woman was there. So what would you do if you were witnessing someone getting bullied like this? Yeah, I would I would speak up as well. It's like what the teachers do. Ask Lexi first, warn them the second time, beat them up the third time. I would 100% step in, especially like that. They are such young girls. If somebody doesn't tell them now, they're going to be like that forever. I'd probably like bully the bullies, if that makes sense. Like like be like th like demean them even though like it may get me in trouble like interfering with like other people's business I am the first person to like defend I'm like yo cut it out like stop really depends on the situation say it's Guys doing that to another guy if I'm sitting in the corner and I know they're bigger than me I can't do shit about it. I know for a fact I can't do anything and I feel really bad in that situation, but I Can't do anything Sorry, do you have do you have change for? Oh, it's like a social experiment. He's acting like he's blind, $5. $5. seeing $5. who's going to do the right thing. Is that 50? <gasps> no! Oh my god! Wow, that man was an ass. Um, that's actually a $50 note. She's a good person. This is the five, yeah. So I can <laughs> Thank take you. the five. Thank you. She's a good okay. person. Thank you so much. This should actually be five dollars. Yes. Is that five dollars? Yes. Dang. We love an honest queen. That's the right way to do it. Oh my. God. That man, you're a grown man, and you're taking fifty to. Oh my god. The old dude just like looked at it and walk. Like he he didn't even just walk away. He tried quietly walking away. So for this last one, what do you think you would do in that situation? I completely do the same thing. You, there's no way anyone in their right mind should take advantage of someone that's already disabled. That is. Worst thing anyone could do. I was just talking about humanity being restored and then like we see that like that's so bad But yeah, I would 1000% be honest. I would step in if someone was trying to steal the money That that's the first and second off I would if I truly had the money I would try and if not I would still help this person till they got the money They need it, but I don't have it. I'm gonna go ask other people to do it for me I'm gonna be a good person and I'm not gonna take the $50 note. He's blind man. You don't do that to people like that. Before you go, we thought it'd be interesting to take this up a notch and put you to the test in real life. So we got you something. Okay. Donut. What if I told you that this donut was dropped on the floor? I'll still eat it. For how long? Well, mm, it depends. Which side was it dropped on? I'm a believer of the five second rule, but it depends on how long it's been on the floor for. I'll sit, I'll sit this one out, even though it looks so good, but I won't, I won't eat it. Do you want it? Yeah. Go for it. Okay. It's still good. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> I am a five second rule kind of guy. I'm, you know, I'm hungry and this donut looks pretty good, so. Well, don't worry. Cause we're actually kidding and it did not drop on the I floor. I knew it. We just wanted to see what you'd do. I knew it. I knew it didn't drop on the floor. So, what do you think your decision says about you? Um, it says that I don't care like the circumstances. I'd still be willing to do what I want. And in this case, it was I wanted to eat it. I'm not like gonna discriminate the donut because it fell. Thanks for choosing to watch this episode of Teens React. Shout out to Jane Rosana. You know what you should always do? Subscribe to our channel for new videos just like this. Hey everyone, Lauren Producer here at FBE. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Make sure you guys subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. It seriously is the best way to help support our channel and bring more videos like this to you guys. Bye.